Well, let's stay with that story now. This year's census will take place on the night of the 24th and 25th of August. It's the sixth after independence and eighth in Kenya's history. This will be the first census exercise conducted since the promulgation of the new constitution. The Kenya Shilling's 18 billion exercise will be conducted using digital gadgets. But what should you expect? In this year's exercise, Dokas Wangira spent the day monitoring the training of enumerators and she filed this report. The process of counting of people will start on the night of 24th August 2019. The enumerators about 170,000, including supervisors, whose work is to capture the census information, are expected to visit households between 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It may not be possible to reach everyone everywhere on the night of 24th August. The census teams will proceed with enumeration throughout the week, but all information will refer to the night of 24th August, the census reference night. The the census of 2019 is going to be Kenya's eighth national housing and population census. For the very first time, it's going to be paperless and even include the intersex people. The question in many Kenyans' minds is just what exactly to expect. We're going to show you one mock census. We are providing for badges for the census personnel. So if you're talking of an, an ICT supervisor, there is a badge with the name, the title, the ID number. The same goes to the content, uh, supervisors, and then enumerators. Then, we are also providing four reflector jackets. They are good plans to beef up security, particularly that, that night. Asante, yeah. karibu. karibu. Duke Nyakundi shows us how the enumeration will take place at the household level. He inputs the head of the household, Josfat Gaditu Muhia's name, the first question into the tablet. The household questionnaire has questions in nine categories. These are information regarding all persons, including name. Mel. How old are you? I'm 40 age, sex, religion and ethnicity, questions about fertility for females from the age of 12, disabilities, education, labor force, ICT, housing conditions, death and live births as well as questions on crop farming, livestock, fishing, agriculture and aquaculture. 100 households make up one enumeration area. The KNBS has used cartographic mapping to section the entire country. We do not look for people who, have, who are in the diaspora. In addition to the main household questionnaire, there are other special questionnaires for travelers and persons on transit, street persons and families, emigrants, hotel and lodge residents, hospital inpatients, prisoners and remandees in police cells, as well as those who are in children's homes. After enumeration, the officials will write a number on the door to indicate that counting has been conducted. It should take about 30 minutes in each house, though this may be shorter or longer depending on the household. Participate in this exercise and allow the census personnel to do the job so that we are well counted. It is expected that preliminary results will be released three months after the end of the exercise. The basic reports of the census are expected to be released within six months, while the detailed analytical reports will be released within one year. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.